A woman is in jail tonight after police say she fired a gun inside a Garden City McDonald's. Stephen Moody joins us live. Stephen, what happened there? Well, first of all, it's important to note that everyone is okay following this incident, but the owner tells me that this all started over an order of French fries. Now, the woman walked into the restaurant here in Garden City earlier today. She ordered his food as normal. She then returned to the store complaining that her fries weren't hot enough. That's when she allegedly demanded that the manager recook the fries. While waiting, she then demanded a refund from another employee, and that's when the owner says she pulled a gun. She fired one gunshot. The owner of the restaurant has an office right next door. He then entered the store, opened the cash register, and told the woman to take what she wanted. That's when she grabbed the cash and fled the scene. Police caught up with her on Liberty Parkway in Fitzgerald Street. That's where she was arrested without further incident. Now, like I mentioned before, everyone was okay in this, and she is expected to be charged with armed robbery. Reporting live tonight here in Garden City, Stephen Moody, WJCL 22 News. Hearing from a cashier who says she could have been killed after a customer opened fire inside of a local fast food restaurant. One woman is now in custody after this incident, and we are learning more about the moments that led up to the shooting. News 3's Shana Ferreira spoke with the cashier. She is joining us now with what she witnessed during her shift. Tina, it was something Lynn Watson never saw coming. She says she works full time at the Garden City McDonald's to provide for her family. And tonight, after the bizarre ordeal, she says she's shaken to her core. I never expected nothing like that. I always work in the back drive through and just that day I happened to be working on front counter. And that's when her shift went south on Monday after this customer opened fire inside this Garden City McDonald's in the middle of the afternoon. She came in, ordered a filet of fish meal, and she got her food. When she got her food, she was unsatisfied with her fries. They was burnt looking because the grease was old. I called the manager because she wanted a refund, and the manager talked her into, you know, keeping the food, and she would fry her fries in a different vat of fry, uh, grease. And when she, when I was going to make another order for another customer, she stopped me and asked me what um, was the manager's name. And I told her her name was Tammy. And she said, well, what's her last name? I said, I don't know. And she's like, you don't know your manager's name and you work with her? Lynn Watson says the customer quickly got angry and escalated the situation by throwing her soft drink at her. She proceeded to come across the counter. And me, I just went straight into defense mode, and I just, you know, was trying to fight her to get her out from behind the counter from where we are. And we just, me and her, started tussling and fighting and stuff, and she got mad and left out the building and said, I got something for you, and she went to go get the gun. She came all the way inside the store to the back of the restaurant. She grabbed my shirt and told me, uh, you better give me my money or I'm going to shoot you. And she's like, well, so y'all better make her give me my money or I'm going to shoot her. And she took her gun, and she just shot it in the store shot a gun with customers inside. It's unclear if 27 year old Lillian Tarver intended to hit anyone because she fired at a wall. Afterward, witnesses say Tarver went to the cash register, told the owner that she wanted her money, opened the register and took cash before leaving the store in her car. And they saying that she mad over some fries and that's not even the situation. She was mad because I didn't give her the manager's last name. There's miners that work there. They, they was Excuse my language, but they were scared. She says, despite the scare of her life, she says she's grateful she lived to tell the story. I'm glad that, you know, we all came out alive with that. Like, you know, thank God. Now, Garden City Police did track that suspect down after she left the store in her car. Police now consider this incident an armed robbery. Tarver faces several charges, including aggravated assault, reckless driving, and battery. Shayna Ferreira, WSAV News 3.